Welcome to this presentation on how to start up ANSYS APDL. Uh, we have this document, Tips and Fixes, in the main uh, class folder. Um, and so what I want you to do is, if, if you forget any of this, you can come to this, um, and right here, ANSYS APDL, and we can click on that and go down to those. And see, so we have some tips and some fixes for uh, when working with this program. And um, you can look over these, but basically we're down here. Um, there, we've had issues in the past where people save files and it doesn't have anything in it. So you just need to find them. But the best way to do it, and what I'm going to show you today is how to fix this, is whenever you start your computer, you want to use the product launcher. I'm going to show you that today. And actually, I think there's some things, at least with the setup that I've found this, um, this point, is that it actually prevents you from doing this to mess things up, I think. Anyway, if you forget anything from this presentation, Watch this this next five, uh, 15 seconds. All right, here we go. Now I'm gonna open APDL. I'm gonna go to the Windows button. I'm gonna type APDL. I want the product launcher. That's what you need to remember. I don't want this one that doesn't say product launcher. I want this one. So it's not the default right now. Maybe once I use it a few times, it will become the default, but you want the product launcher. And I'll show you why here in a sec. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter on that, bring that up. So it's a, it's a little bit of an older program. You're going to see the um, GUI is kind of a little bit old school, um, somewhat clunky, but uh, there's value in its approach uh, to the setup, and that's why we're using it. But what it does is it forces you to pick the working directory at up front. So before you even, you're basically creating the file up front that everything's going to get saved into rather than kind of answer saving it in, as a temp file in the background. And then once you are ready to save, it says, oh, okay, where, what do you want to call it and where do you want to save it? So when you do like a Microsoft Word file, uh, when you, you like start a file, you just start typing away and then you save it. And at that point, you haven't created a file yet, but it has saved it in some temp files directories in the background. Well, APDL wants to save it in that, wants to know upfront where you want to do that. And this is good because it's the problem we've had in the past. So the working directory may not be this, it could be something else, but uh, typically uh, I know students like to do it on the Z drive. So here's the Z drive for us. And then I just do the doc, you can do it wherever. Um, but again, you're, you're very, you're specifying exactly where it's at and you have the job name. So, you know, I'm just doing an example. So again, I'm just gonna do an example here. So I had to hit run. All right, and what I'm going to do right now, I'm just going to pause for a sec because what I want to do is uh, create a uh, create something so you can see right right now if there's basically nothing I haven't started off. So I'm going to basically create my document, my Word document, but it's going to be my ANSYS model. Um, and then I'm going to come back and uh, show you what happens when I close and restart with that. All right, so I've just finished creating my model. And so kind of like a trust bridge type of thing. And so all I'm gonna do now is save it, save DB, or come up here, file, and you can save as or save as job name, but we'll just save as. And uh, well, you look in here and you don't see it, uh, but we saved it from, we set it up initially as example. So let's go back and find it. So it was Z drive, come down here, and under the documents we see, oh, there's example. All right, so we'll just confirm we can okay and save it. So we wanna go ahead and replace it. So we'll go ahead and quit here. And again, I can save everything and I click OK. And it takes me back to the product launcher, but I'm going to close that out. So then if I log back into this computer, I'm going to be at the same place. Um, I, well, I'm going to be, yeah, I'll be back on the same computer. I did everything there before. So if I go to Windows and APDL, remember, I don't want to do the product launcher. All right, sorry, I do want to do the product launcher. Uh, so I'll go there. And if it remembers you, which it probably does, um, it should, again, if you're on the same machine, if you go to a different machine, it's probably going to not remember. So you're just going to have to um, navigate back to your working directory and your job name. But this one has it, so I'll go ahead and hit run now. All right. And well, where to it go? It's not showing up. All right. So that may happen, and that's fine, because all you have to do is come up here and hit resume DB. And it should pop up like that. Now, you might also say here, well, well shoot, where'd my node numbers go and my element numbers? Well, that's a kind of a, a separate piece, uh, but I'll show you here anyway. So we're going to go to plot controls and we're going to go to numbering. And you just want to turn numbering on. So we have node L on numbers that we want to turn on. So we're going to just select there. And then it says element and attribute numbering. We just want to turn on the element numbers. So we'll click there and we'll click OK. OK. Sometimes this works, sometimes this doesn't. If it doesn't, you might just need to come up back up here to plot and multi plots and that'll help it uh, show all these items. 
Okay, so hopefully that's helpful in uh, both saving and then bringing your document back up. Uh, another thing you may have wondered, um, well, if I hit just save DB, do I not, you know, do I lose something um, rather than going to the file menu that didn't have? Well, let's, I'll just add something here real quick as we're, as I'm talking here and I go back into meshing, oops, not meshing, modeling, and I'm going to create uh, another element and auto number through nodes and we'll go just between one and four here. All right, so I just created an element there and now I'm just going to come, come up here and just hit save DB. I'm going to go ahead and quit, save everything. And I could close out here and come back. But actually, the other thing I want to show you here is, so now, again, if I'm on the same computer, I might be getting away with a shortcut. Again, I always recommend go through the product launcher. But if you by happen on the same machine, you're doing everything, if you go back into the one that's not the product launcher, it should take you right into the program and view the last file you had open. Again, you're playing with fire a little bit here. Um, again, product launcher is the best way for it, but you can see here it says example up top. All right, so example is the same one that I've been saving and working on. It's not showing up when I first open it, so I'm going to hit resume DB, and there you go. So the save DB does work because we initially set up a working directory and the files. Everything is there. Um, we just have to you know, pull it back up and hit resume DB. All right, so hopefully that was helpful. Make sure you uh, check out the next video.